Inspiring Adventurers, Parents and the Church Family. Welcome back again to the following day of our Adventurer Week of Prayer. Yesterday, you heard the topic of, Do You Know Who I Am? Now, as adventurers, they are going to help us to tell us how we can go and tell the world about how God loves us. Thank you for taking the time to tune in. Our topic for today is Letters to My Friends. I'm sure some of you have forgotten what it was like to write a letter. And I'm sure the adventurers don't even know about writing letters. But today we are going to learn about Letters to My Friends and how God wants us to know him through the letters that he's written for us in his book. Our Bible text for today is Mark 9 verse 23 and it reads, If you can, said Jesus, everything is possible for one who believes. So all we need to do is to believe. Thank you for continuing to watch our Adventure of Week of Prayer. Please continue tuning in until the conclusion on the Sabbath. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Megan. I'm going to do the play. Because Jesus loves me, I'll always do my best to for him. Be attentive. Be helpful. Be cheerful. Be thoughtful. Be everything. Get the kind pastors we had, like we did yesterday. Hello, pastors. I am a special boy, and all my family and friends call me Samson. Yesterday, you learned that we are special boys and girls. We are the powerful. We are the powerful adventurers. We can tell others about Jesus and we have the faith of the one who loves us. We will serve and save others by sharing the good news of Christ and with prayer we know we will receive and all power to go out and around the world. So today I shall vow on behalf 
of all the the adventures growing in Christ that because Jesus loves me I will go just I will go just like Psalms 127 verses 4 says like arrows in the hand of a warrior are sons born in one's youth. My sister and my mom will be helping me today. Nandi, please read yesterday's verse Luke 4 verses 43 and what we learned. But he said, I must preach the good news of the kingdom of God to the other towns also, because that is why I was sent. We learnt on the basics of arrows and the importance of its accuracy, and that it must be true to each bow individually to get this result. Today we will learn about arrow spying and fletchings as we wrap the sermonette. Mama, can you please tell me again that verse you like? Mark 9 verses 23. If you can, said Jesus, Everything is possible for him who believes. That is actually our verse for today. Mama, isn't you and Dada used, used to write letters a long, long time ago? Can you tell us more about it? Yes, well, this is a long time ago, around the 1990s. We didn't have cell phones. We didn't have laptops, so we used to have to write letters. Can I read a letter that I got from a friend? Yes, please. It says, Dear my bestest friend, This letter serves to somersault your medulla and jog your memory to the friend you left so far. Your distance has catastrophically broken all alphabets and metabolized my tears to absorptions of uncountable absenteeism. Please multiply your Mercedes Benz and engine BMW to track to fast track your missed presence this day. Yours in hope to see you soon. P.S. Sealed with tears. Wow, what big words. I'm glad we don't do that anymore. Us adventurers have special letters called prayer and we use them to talk to our sweet BFF Jesus. We have not met him but we, but we love him. Read his word and we can talk to him. In the Bible, in the Bible, in the Bible he tells us that we are blessings and even let grown-ups know we are important by telling them let the little children come into into me all we have to do is honor and obey our parents and let Jesus into our hearts. Our verse today tells us that our friend Jesus is very powerful and we can believe anything we read and learn about him in the Bible. We know that God hears and answers our prayer, prayer letters. When he says go, we as adventurers vow today to say, Father God, we are ready to go for we believe in you. Use us in your vineyarden. Nandipa, can you please tell us now about the arrow spine and fletchings? As promised, our lesson on the arrow spine and fletchings. You see, when you loose an arrow from the bow, it undergoes compression and will bend either a lot or a little. 
Arrow spine is what describes the stiffness of an arrow. Fletchings make arrows fly straight with or without spinning. Now to link our lesson today. I am sure adults may have many conclusions, but as adventurers, it's as simple as our arrow spine is so flexible in allowing us choices in how we serve as we shoot the arrow. We have him as promised in Matthew 28 verse 20, that he will be with us always until the end of the world and that he will provide the appropriate fletching, whether it's plastic vein or feathers, so that each soul receives this gospel truth the best way possible. All we take with us is the belief and the faith of his promises. Always remember who you are. Have faith in like arrows in the hands of warriors. Let's go and land on the targets if you can believe all things are possible to him who believes join who believes join us again tomorrow the topic will, will be i brought you a gift i wonder who or what that gift is good night and god bless you amen Thank you.